everybody. Welcome back. It's the Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. Going to roll over to the reservation. Going to talk to my good buddy, head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, head coach Will Kreisky. How you doing tonight, coach? I'm doing well. Well, uh, you came way a winner, and uh, you went down there to Warren County, and I watched the broadcast, good broadcast, and uh, great crowd, great atmosphere, and uh, came away with a win. Uh, but uh, Riverdale Warriors played pretty good, didn't they, Coach? Yeah, defensive guys played really well. Um, the front guys, front seven, played extremely hard. Uh, played their assignment and just did their job, and uh, we're really pleased with them and really – how they handled, you know, coming off a loss and just staying focused and, and staying the course. Yeah, it just seemed like and uh, and and did get to uh, their their money guy and uh, not mean to be a mean, but uh, you did you did get on top of him and uh, and and got a lick in on him and uh, they had a tough time the second half and uh, but you did a real good job. I was able to watch that game online and. Uh, what what was some of the things you felt like you I mean even though you did uh, where does this put you with your quarterback your other quarterback as far as possibly getting him back? Oh uh, yeah, um, you know that's uh, the thing. You know he got his twins out today, so the doctors will, will clear him to go, and he he, uh, he got to work a little bit today and do some things with us in our team setting today with us and and stuff. So uh, hopefully he'll be ready to go by next Friday. All right, so uh, what, what we're talking about, fans, is Jamison Holcomb, uh, who broke his finger, uh, and uh, he is back in. So uh, so we're going to run with Cade against uh, – Cade Hewitt. We're going to run with the backup against Coffee County Friday? Well, actually, Coffee County called this morning and canceled the game due to COVID. So uh, we, don't, we don't have a game this week right now, uh, Stuart. So you are just going to just take a break and just try to tell the kids, uh, hey, do not do anything because uh, a win is a win, and uh, that keeps it right now, uh, you know, that keeps you in a good spot, doesn't it? I mean, you don't want to do anything, in my opinion. Well, yeah, you know, I, I looked into it, and, you know, with this COVID stuff running rampant, and that's why, you know, their quarterback tested positive. So, you know, they uh, felt like they needed to shut it down, and so – that's what they did, and so, you know, with, with uh, the way the season's ended and, and, and injuries and stuff, yeah, I just figured we'll practice today and tomorrow and, and then uh, get ready for the first-round opponent. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're in a situation right now. You, you, you're you much better ahead to do, go ahead, take the win, and just tell everybody. And I think that's the biggest fear, uh, you know, even when I was talking to some college football coaches. It's not, you know – when you're with them, or, and, and you kind of know the guys that you're with and everything, but when they leave, and unfortunately you don't know who they're communicating with or who they're in contact with or what, and everything, but that's where the risk goes up. And, and uh, you know, you just you just never know. I mean, right now, and, and with, the, with it rising as rampant as it is, uh, it's kind of like the flu. It's moving, isn't it, Coach? The, the, yeah, it the, is. The, it is. And it's – man, we're in uncharted territory, and – you know, you just want for the, for the kids, man. We, we we got a good group, man. The way they responded against Oakland after they come back, you know, we're really excited coming to playoffs and getting Jameson back. But, you know, they're, they're, we don't know what holds tomorrow, man. Uh, the whole – everybody could be shut down. Uh, oh, I'm scared to death, you know, and yeah, that's the reason bad. why, you know, I mean, they just asked me to, to, to haul it and, and head up to Cookwell to do the game. I'm going to go get to do the game because it may very well be. I mean, we're talking round one, round two. We, I mean, if a team falls out, it's, it could juggle the whole, you know, the whole schematics of this thing, and then two teams fall out. It might not take two or three, four rounds. We may be, have this thing done on week three. I mean, it may yeah, be, I you mean, know. You look at the Cab County. They got they got put out on a fourteen day quarantine, and, and now Spring Hill finishes because Lawrence County didn't can't play, so Spring Hill is already in the second round of the playoffs, and we ain't even finished. Uh, last week of the regular season yeah i guess so i guess that's right you'll just advance on to your slot and wait until somebody comes along to play you that's healthy i guess that's what i mean i guess that's the way we'll do it and we'll go through the weeks as it goes i mean but it's gonna make for a uh i guess a miss and catch a type of a football game because you may only have so many six A's, you know, I don't know. It's just you know what I'm trying to say. But either sure. way, uh, anything you'd like to say, uh, this is our last show, Coach, anything you'd like to say about the about the season and whatnot. I mean, we, we did 
Well, I will say Stork Vision was at your house quite a few times, but we had a great time and we're glad to be there and I always uh, and I made a new friend. Uh, your assistant principal now follows me on Twitter and I appreciate her and uh, uh, we're just it's that's what this thing is about. It's about relationships, but uh, I appreciate you and the faculty and staff and the coaching staff and the kids from Riverdale High School. Yeah, Stork, I appreciate you doing it each week. We appreciate you having us. And, and, yeah, I really appreciate you coming out there and being a part of it, part of Warrior Country, and, and, and providing, you know, a good uh, quality video for these families to be able to watch during these tough times. Well, uh, Coach, we will talk soon, I'm sure. But if there's anything I can do, you know how to reach me, and we will see talk to you soon. I right, appreciate it, Stork. Thank you. See you, bye.